everyone, I'm Jennifer Valle, and today we will be doing another passage from our Reading Champions program. Today's passage is geared more towards our fourth and fifth graders, but we encourage everyone to listen along. Parents, there is a link in our newsletter that you can click on so that you can have the passage on your screen or print it out and follow along. Parents and children, let's grab our pieces of paper, our writing utensils, and let's get to our cozy little spots so we can get started. The title of this passage is Mother Teresa. Some of the key words to review are compassion, slums, service, and assisting. Kids, what I would like for you to do is on your piece of paper, write down the first thing that comes to mind when you hear these words. Now the story. The Nobel Peace Prize is awarded to people who have worked to help bring peace to the world. In 1979, this honor was given to Mother Teresa, a nun who worked with the poor in Kolkata, India. Mother Teresa was born in Eastern Europe. At age 18, she traveled to India to join a convent and teach high school. Then, when she was 36, she felt a divine calling to stop teaching and help the poor. So she founded an order of nuns called the Missionaries of Charity. Mother Teresa spent the rest of her life assisting poor people. She lived and worked in the slums for more than 50 years. She and her followers offered food, shelter, and medical care to those in need. More importantly, they genuinely cared for people and attempted to make everyone feel wanted. The poor do not need our sympathy and pity. They need our love and compassion, Mother Teresa said. Mother Teresa didn't keep the Nobel Peace Prize money for herself. Instead, she used it to expand her service to the poor and sick. Over time, the missionaries of charity brought this service to over 130 countries. Mother Teresa clearly did her part to help bring peace to the world. Many have learned from her loving example. Now the questions. Number one, what is the main idea of this story? A, Mother Teresa was a teacher in India. B. Mother Teresa helped many poor people. Or C. Mother Teresa won a lot of prize money. Number two. Why did Mother Teresa start the Missionaries of Charity? A. Because she wanted to win a Nobel Prize. B. Because she had stopped teaching. Or C. Because she felt a divine calling to assist others. Number three, what does the word nun mean in this story? A, a woman in a religious group. B, someone who helps the poor. Or C, someone who wins a prize. Number four, what did Mother Teresa do that helped people all over the world? A, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. B. She taught school in India. Or C. She expanded the service of the missionaries of charity. Number five. List ways that Mother Teresa and her followers took care of poor people. Number six. A synonym is a word that has the same meaning as another word. Match each word with its synonym. You will match 1. Founded 2. Genuinely 3. Shelter 4. Example and 5. Attempted to either A. Protection B. Model C. Sincerely D. Tried or E. Started 
And number seven, number the events in chronological order. Mother Teresa founded an order. Mother Teresa traveled to India. Mother Teresa won the Nobel Peace Prize. Mother Teresa's order spread to over 130 countries. And Mother Teresa felt a divine calling to help the poor. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about Mother Teresa as much as I did. She was an amazing woman. Now it's time for our spelling quiz. You will have 14 spelling words and they are chosen from our passage. Are you ready? Number one, none. Number two, divine. Number three, calling. Number four, convent. Number five, founded. Number six, order. Number seven, slums. Number eight, shelter. Number nine, sympathy. Number 10, pity. Number 11, compassion. Number 12, expand. Number 13, service. And number 14, example. Try your best, guys. I know you can do this. And like always, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you guys soon. Until next time. Bye.